Hello and welcome to my new tutorial. And yes, as you have seen in the video title, we are actually talking about a displacement and almost like sculpting here inside of Mari. Yeah, it's actually true. You can kind of sculpt in a way like you do in, in uh, ZBrush, for example. The only difference is in ZBrush, you're moving the actual vertices while here we are doing the displacement. So to do so, I've downloaded some textures from, from the ZBrush side where you can download some fancy alpha textures and you can actually use the exact same textures to paint in Mari. And to do so, we want to go here to our tool properties while we are in the, in the, in the brush in the brush tool here. And uh, let's open it up here. And I shit you not, but this brush engine of Mari is on steroids. You have a shit ton of, of options you can choose from. But we want to load an actual image to paint, right? For that, we have to go to bitmap, change here from render to bitmap, go here to the location where you have stored your textures. I have it here on, on my desktop. Let's go here for the noise, it's fine. And the next thing is we have to, to keep an eye on is here the source. You can choose from red channel, green channel, blue channel, alpha channel, luminance or RGBA. For example, when you want to paint actual color information, you want to choose the RGBA or for example, also if you have um, channel packed XYZ displacement textures for skins, for example, um, or if you have some masks which are channel packed and you just want to have the red one, but we want to keep the luminance here because we want to only have the white parts here. I mean, it's grayscale, obviously, so we want to have everything from white to black. That is our brush tip and that paints the color we have here selected in our, in our color panel. For that, we choose here luminance. The next thing here is a whole bunch of options. These are just a few of them. You, you have here so many more. You can, you can really deep dive into them. And as I said, this brush engine is crazy. It's really crazy. It's really cool. It's awesome. But we are only, we are only uh, interested in a few of them. So for example, we want to have a bit more brush spacing here. So as we all know, each brush um, is kind of kind of a tip, as we can see here in the preview. I wish it would it would be able to make it a bit bigger, but yeah, uh, let's say we we'll go to to bigger steps, so you can see there is more space in between. But that's actually a bit big. Let's go for something like that. You can play around with the settings. Uh, for example, with you with, with painting pores and skin textures, then you want to have a bit of a bigger spacing. Uh, yeah, you anyway you have to play around a bit with the settings to find something that, that, that you like for your current project or for the detail you want to paint. So the next thing is for the opacity, here I want to have a bit of a randomness, so let's go here and add a jitter per, per tip. The next thing is position, let's add a bit of position chittering, so as we can see here it's offsetting a bit. Then rotation, yes, also add a bit of rotation please, it's also doing... I mean, it's doing a 360, it's not just a bit, it's turning around completely. So the next thing is also here, the radius. We want to have some, some radius variations that is true, we don't need. These are basically the settings you need to tweak. And I recommend while you are playing around, just have, have the tab open somewhere on the side where it doesn't block your, your viewer here. So I'm moving it here a bit off screen so you can see it. And the next thing is, I have here just a basic gray constant, it's just a mid gray, and I have your paint nodes for this demonstration purpose here. I have it on 60 mid and 8k, and just a blend node because here this one has, has an alpha. So when we look through, it's just nothing. When we look here, we just should see here the gray. And here we have the shader node, which you are familiar with, for example, with Arnold, so you have all the parameters there. And now we can actually paint, and for that I'm using here my vacuum tablet, as it's also pressure sensitive, which is super cool. Let's make it a bit bigger. And switch here to white, that we push out the details, that we push it outwards. And now we can paint here. Say that there could be something something like rust that it's peeling away or chipping away the color. Let's back it down. We can also make it bigger. Yeah. 
or let's say we want to we want to push inward so we are switching here to black and let's eat in here on the edge you can you can go really crazy with that you you can go crazy you can you can do whatever you want you you can load in textures as you want and i really highly recommend as always to to gain some experience and knowledge yourself play around with it play around load in different textures see what works see what doesn't work great and and, and just play around with it and i also recommend play around with the settings here so there, there are plenty of them there are really a lot of them and yeah play around with have fun with it and actually this is kind of already a, the full tutorial i wanted to show you guys so it's, it's actually really simple and bye bye it's gone it's actually really simple and you really can load in here whatever you want let's load here one quickly another one as an example so let's go here for i guess this one is the noise yes now we are painting inwards sure why not looking cool right i mean this is just displacement i mean right now i'm just plugging it into the bump for for a cool representation here in real time in my viewport but it's actually a grayscale map so we can use it as a bump if you want but i highly recommend to use it as a displacement but it's up to you you can you can totally use it as a bump if it holds up in, in your project that's that's no no issue on that yeah auto save thank you come on cool well, yeah let's switch it here to white and let's make it make it pop out it looks again like rust it's so cool you, you can really go go um, go crazy with that and you also can look some tutorials online how you can create such such um, alpha brushes yourself there are plenty of them where people are showing how to do that for zbrush but as i've mentioned you, you can use the exact same ones here in mario as well there's also the zbrush website where you can download a whole bunch of them you can also download some some with, with fish scales for example and then maybe you want to enable here that it's following the direction i guess it's where is it here aligned to stroke rotation then it's, it's following in the rotation and you can also here change change more things that it's that it's per per tip or per stroke some 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 range um, values so this is really i i should you not but the settings here are crazy and it really invites to uh, to play around with so yes yeah, a lot of talking and just a bit of of painting here i hope this was learnful for you and helps you keep your texturing level even further and thanks for watching and see you next time bye bye guys